Dreamscape is a site-specific installation I created for the Ross Museum at Ohio Wesleyan University. It speaks of the dynamic relationship between the environment and our imaginations, placing the viewer in a reconstructed dream of nature that is both tangible, tree, canopy, forest, and imaginal, thus acting as the axis mundi between those realms. The installation includes 100 white paper clay boats, which are floating at various levels among suspended pear tree branches. These floating boats course through an imaginal woods like a school of fish that has been displaced from their natural habitat. This dislocation acts to draw the viewer's attention and hopefully to ignite their curiosity and imaginations. The boats in the air gather shape through suspension. Suspension of one's focus on day-to-day -day tasks, suspension of concrete reality, and suspension of disbelief. It is in this pause, those moments between or missing, where we begin to move into the liminal realm, a place where we encounter flashes of memory together with stories we hold deeply. I began making large floating boat forms in 1990. I was drawn to the form for its archetypal resonance, a deeply multivalent form that embodies the essence of our journey through life, from this life to the next, from one stage of life to another, and in its power to evoke the realm of the imaginal. These boat forms recall the silhouettes of the ancient Nordic ships, which are symbolically cradles or coffins, evoking fertility and or death, and carrying dreams of, and perhaps to, imagined worlds. It is an archetypal image that holds the tension of its own complexity, evoking a burial container and home for the spirit, as well as a vessel of potential dreams. The boats in the installation are white, for me, this references a number of things. First, their bleached out forms are like bones, the remains that persist as spiritual centers and illuminations, symbols of resurrection and reanimation. The whiteness also refers to the tabula rasa, a blank slate that invokes within the viewer to call upon his or her own imagination and what stories they hear from the experience. The broken vessels found in still settings on the gallery floor indicate that some powerful force, storm, or disruption has fragmented them. Now broken, discarded, and fallen, left to dissolve into composted nature. These boat shards may be beacons, lighting our imaginations, or to warn us of the potential danger that lies ahead if we don't heed the call to become more attentive to our natural surroundings. There is an implied call to action in this installation, especially for our distracted media-centric culture. Also, there is a foreseeable fate to ignoring this call, the fate of becoming marooned and bleached as bones if no action is taken. It is my hope the ephemeral quality of this dreamscape will quicken the spirit of those who see the work, triggering their memories of walking along the shore or through the woods, intercepting unintended reveries that emerge through the journey of their experiences and encounters with the natural life therein, kindling profound connections to the world. To engage with nature is to engage with the imagination.